Okay, what we got here. What I, got here. I, yeah, what I got here. I forgot the number of this plate, but it was an uncut piece. And from the pictures, you can see where I cut the ends off. And then I added these holes to it. And then this is one inch uh, square stock that my friend milled from some scrap aircraft aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum, whatever it is. Uh, these are the Butcher Boy V bearings. So I got this from Geeks Gone Bad idea. Now I'm basing my mill off of Geeks Gone Bad, his concept. Um, did the bearing assembly here a little differently, but bring us down to the end. You can see. So the bolts go through on one inch block. Now I've got these little thin washers in here to get the, so because the outer race was up against the block and it didn't roll smooth. But now rolls pretty nice and smooth. There's a little, just a hint of play in it. And I will probably make the bottom of it adjustable by having uh, some bolts go through. What I hope to do is have bolts come through, maybe drill some holes in here and put a piece in where I can clamp it. It'll, a bolt going through the block and it'll clamp it down, kind of pull it down. And that way I can make it adjustable. I'm hoping that the top holes are in the exact location so it'll all be level and square, the gantry. Um, let's pull this off and you can see. Very simplistic. Now the way this is gonna be done, I will now uh, center punch these points here and here and then drill a hole so there will be bolts going through this. So the whole vertical arm of the gantry will be bolted up in six different locations. And with that should make this, the plate aluminum should be pretty rigid with these going on here. So this will all, all six of these holes will have bolts going through them into the vertical arms of the, for the gantry. And this just kind of, hope I can line this up again. And I'm just using round rod and I have the flat spots of the round rod on the bottom. So. So. That is my concept. Basically, the tools used have just been a, um, a band saw to cut the plate down, which you can see how I did from the pictures, and then a drill press, and had some help from a machinist, uh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually been quite useful. So there's my basic concept for my bearing got one done rolls pretty good pretty happy with it and there's a picture of my base so far and here we are messing with a kill a safety switch so this man has lots of spare bits and pieces sitting around um, so this is my progress so far and I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out I think it'll be quite rigid very nicely supported. So there's that.